Hi viewers, welcome back. In this short tutorial, I am going to show you a simple chart technique, line chart and column charts, which you can make without going into charts and uh, applying all those details. For example, we have this data by month wise, and I want a line or a bar chart here to show me the month wise progress. So just for that, you can develop such type of charts and you can play and edit this chart, show the high point, negative points, the progress, low points, the markers, and you can use it in different ways. Select your data, go to insert, and here in the insert, you have this line, column, and when loss. Just select any one of them, then you can change them, line. Here it asks me about the range, so that I have already selected the location where you want this chart so I want it here against every month okay you see here you have a chart a line chart now you can play with its colors if you want to change these colors so there are multiple options here if you want uh, to use the columns one so you can change it to the columns one if you want to win loss to use the win loss so you can change it to this win and loss and here you will see now how you can play with it for example you have this line chart and here you want the high points to be highlighted so you can highlight them and when you click away from this table so you won't see that tab but when you click here here you will have this spark line tab click it and then you can you can apply different criteria you want to see high point, low points. So these are your low points, negative points if you want. Now if you want to change the colors of these high points, low points and negative points. So just come here, marker color. In this, the, for the negative points, which type of color you want, red one. Now come here, high points. For high points, which type of color you want, I want the green one. Now come again here. For the low points, which type of color you want, I want the yellow one. For the first point, for the last point, you can apply these different types of color. The spark line color, the line color, if you want to change, so you can change it from here. It's, it's blue now. If you want another color like this one, so you can change its color from uh, into different uh, ways. Now, if you want it in the columns, so it it's in the columns now you can see this january is the lowest one so it's not that much visible you can change these colors from here also if you want this win loss so win loss for win loss you can apply different types of colors and in this win loss also you can apply then different types of colors to the high points for example if you say that the high point should be green so now you see wherever you have a high point so that is green if you want that the low point should be red so these are the low points which are red now and if you want some other changes to the last point the negative points if there are so you can apply different types of colors and here you will see in the same table in a separate column the complete table and along with the graphs and charts to visualize your data now if you want to edit your um, line chart so just select it come here edit group location now here you have the data range this is the location range now here the data range you can change if you just want the fib and march so just select fib and march and okay so now you will see only two months if you want to uh, make it to only one month the last one so just select only the last month click here in the data range and just select the last month and okay so you will have only the last month and hidden and empty cells for example if you have if you need to hide these two rows so when you hide them so here also the chart won't show you those information if you want that even the hidden column should also be visible so then just go to the spark line edit points and here hidden and empty cell click and say show data in hidden rows and columns and okay so now you will see even if the rows are the columns are hidden you will see the graphs against those columns and rows 
and you can also use in this insert there are not only these lines and columns and win last charts you can use these slicer and time lines also without any pivot table for example you have a summary table here so you can use these two but for these two you need to convert your database or your table to a table format for example let me show you how you can do that select your table press ctrl t now here you see after Control T it says create table my table has header yes my table has header and ok so you will see that in the table format when you select that then you will have this table design tab a separate tab for table design so now you can apply in the insert this slicer and timeline if there are dates exact dates then you can use timeline also if there are no date just months etc and other columns so you can use slicers when you click slicer so here you have all the headers of the columns which are in your tables on which column you want the slicer for example if i want on the month one and okay so here you will have this this type of slicer now if you just want to see only january 2022 so only that is filtered if you want december if you want any month you click so that would be changed to that if you want two three months so select two three months so now you see those three months unfilter it if you want just this month and this month so then click this one and with control click this one also so here you see those two so you can select four months three months the last months the these three months are only these three months so whichever selection you have it would give you that information and you can then remove also that so it was a basic short tutorial just to show you the use of slicers so that slicer you can apply on any columns that you want and, and, and for that you just need to go to insert and click this slicer and it gives you all your column which your column you want to slicer so just click it if you have dates also so then it would give you this timeline one also and then in timeline one then you can even select a specific one or two or three dates if you like this tutorial like the video comment share and subscribe thank you so much if you visit my channel if you want to learn microsoft excel powerpoint access ms word and mail merge then other tricks of the microsoft excel and other softwares other learning tips how to prepare yourself for interviews these other playlist of learning online data collection kobo ms form google form for collecting online data data analytics project management series is there is a playlist for ms excel beginners also windows and all these playlists single playlists are also available so you can uh, benefit from all these sessions which are free of cost and you just open it and watch them and learn and improve your productivity there are these uh, beautifully designed uh, powerpoint presentations how to make these powerpoint presentation and every video has a detailed step by step tutorial so visit my channel subscribe like and share and comment comment is very important for me because if you comment a video so i can improve these videos more whatever question you have so you can ask and uh, this will be good for the channel also and uh, learn and improve your product thank you